where has to factor the given polynomial expression. Whenever we have a polynomial expression that has four or more terms and the number of terms is even, we should consider the technique of factor by grouping. But of course, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor. And notice among these four terms, the only common factor is one, and therefore we'll proceed to the technique of factor by grouping. Step one is to divide or group the polynomial into two halves. So because we have four terms, we'll have two terms in the first half and two terms in the second half. Let's go ahead and write this as xy minus 63, and then we'll draw a vertical bar here, separate the first half from the second half. Then we have plus 9y minus 7x. Step two, is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. Notice how the only common factors between the first two terms is one, the only common factor between the second two terms is also one. This does not mean the technique of factor by grouping fails. It means we should consider rearranging the terms. Notice how the first term is xy, and this last term is negative seven x. So the first term and the last term do share a common factor of x, and negative 63 and positive 9y also share a common factor of nine. So let's change the order of these terms and then try factor by grouping again. Let's write this as xy minus seven x. Let's let these two terms be the first half. And for the second half, let's write the y term first. Let's write plus nine y minus 63. And now let's try the technique of factor by grouping again. Step two is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So now these first two terms do share a common factor of x. So if we factor out the x, we'd have x times the quantity y minus seven. Now looking at just the second two terms, the greatest common factor would be nine. So we'll factor out positive nine. So we'll write plus nine, factor out nine from nine, why we're left with y. We factor out nine from negative 63, we're left with negative seven. So in parentheses, we have the quantity y minus seven. Now if we take a look at these two products, notice how we have a common binomial factor of y minus seven, which is what we need in order to complete the technique of factor by grouping. Notice the third step is to factor out the common polynomial factor. In this case, the common binomial factor. So if we factor out the quantity y minus seven from these two products, notice how we're left with x plus nine, and now we have the polynomial expression completely factored. So again, sometimes we do have to change the order of the terms in order for the technique of factor by grouping to work. I hope you found this helpful.